Hello, my name is Ryan Swinemer, and welcome to Nautel's online training session for setting up and testing an audio loss timeout feature of the VS series transmitter preset. Today I'm going to use a VS300 uh, running software revision 2.0.2. This function can only be set up and tested using the remote AUI portion of the transmitter. Um, so I'm logging in now using the Nautel super user uh, username with a capital N and no password. It's important to note that whichever username you choose, it should be a super user to complete this. The transmitter must also be left in remote mode, as you can see at the bottom of our screen, uh, to do this function. So right now, looking at the home screen, at the very top, we can see the preset that I'm in is called test underscore AES. I've labeled it this way to indicate this is an AES feed uh, for audio and our FM modulation meter is bouncing around happily. So to set up our audio loss timeout feature, we go into the preset by going to menu and then presets. It loads up my test underscore AES preset. I go to main audio and we can see that it is using the primary digital feed. Uh, and now we go over to the other audio tab. Fourth item down is the audio loss timeout and currently selected to no, so I will select that to yes. Uh, the first option is what action do we want to take? Um, we have the options of do nothing, uh, which would effectively just operate at carrier online, and we could inhibit the transmitter, effectively turning it RF off, or we could change presets to use a different audio feed. I will choose to change the preset. Then you select your audio loss preset, um, if you select the down arrow, it will display all the presets that you have saved on your transmitter. I only have two at the moment, and I'm going to use the test underscore mp3. This indicates that I'm using mp3 files from my USB stick as an uh, audio source. You may want to check Nautel's other online training videos uh, for instructions on how to complete this. The next two fields deal with the amount of time we want to wait before we do the change preset. Uh, once we lose our FM modulation. For our testing, I'll do 0 minutes and 10 seconds. The threshold is uh, the point of which the FM modulation has to drop below uh, for the amount of time we've indicated. So I have 10 seconds, uh, pardon me, 10 percent threshold, and you'll see that on the FM modulation meter on the top right hand corner. Uh, so once we d drop below 10% for more than 10 seconds, we'll do a changeover. So I've made a change to this preset. We can see that indicated by the asterisk next, next to the preset name. I will click the Apply button, and that takes effect. Now I'll exit this uh, preset. So we're at the home screen. We're operating happily. Uh, Note that I'm not in RF on mode. Um, I'm just using this as a remote AUI function. The same results would apply. And I have FM modulation. I'm going to remove that now. We can see the FM modulation dip down. It goes down to the 9% mark. I have a pilot enabled at this point for 9%. But we should wait 10 seconds. And now we switch over to the MP3 preset you can see in the top screen. Uh, and you can also see that we have resumed FM modulation, and that concludes the setting up and testing of your audio loss timeout feature. It should be noted that if your primary audio source does resume, the transmitter will not uh, automatically go back to that preset. You will have to do that manually. Once again, my name is Ryan Swinemer, Nautel's Customer Service Department, and thank you for watching the Nautel online training video. Have a good day.